Welcome Grab Shiny. my name is John and this is Finding Bigfoot, part of the Chill series. Um, so if you haven't heard of Finding Bigfoot, I think it's went through a couple name changes, it might just be called Bigfoot now, but when I load up the game it still says Finding Bigfoot. It's based on a game, um, not based, it is the game called The Rake, uh, where you have to hunt down a creature called The Rake, which falls into like the Slenderman lore and things like that. You can look up The Rake if you want, but essentially I am hunting Bigfoot right now. And or Sasquatch. Uh, which person should I be? Girl. Girl always works. So I've never played this game before. I have watched it played. So I don't know how to do things. But So the idea is he could be anywhere. And I think he is like endlessly roaming more or less. Let's take some traps. We need all those. God damn it's dark. How do I turn my flashlight on? So the deal is if I set up cameras outside I'll be able to look for him here. Find and catch Bigfoot, put Bigfoot in a cage. Yeah, so we gotta kill him. And apparently it's really difficult, so we're gonna give it one shot. We're gonna give it one shot. Take all the, take some meat. And this game can be played multiplayer, which makes it uh, quite a bit easier. We can set up the camera over here. Nice, okay, seems like a good spot. So there, I can see on the camera what's in front of my house necessarily so this is a decent little spot but now we need to go out and actually hunt this dude I believe you can take yeah the branches I laid a trap down though I'm gonna lay down a couple other ones around it oh god I lost it where'd it go I can't even see my own trap I don't know we'll lay another one down and then take the meat put it on the trap and then press V on the trap. Oh, I need more branches. Okay, let me take this and put the branches on the trap. There we go. Okay, so that's one trap successful. I'm not sure where the other one went to, but... So now we have one trap set up. And part of me kind of thinks that's the, the best way to do it. Just have one trap. And then maybe we'll put uh, some... Supplementary traps. And now we can mask the- Oh, fuck, god damn it. My own trap. It's camera one. Where all our traps are. Which is where he should be. Camera two, this is to the back, just in case. Three is to the front, I believe, yeah. And we don't have a four. Now he can't break those, so we have to be cognizant of that. Oh my god. Did I just see him? I thought I just saw him. I don't know. Maybe he's just making noises. So I want to go exploring. So I'm going to go over to that little area. Where the fence is. Just because it's a uh, marker. We'll follow the paths. I think following the paths is the right thing to do. Apparently there's also some dead bodies along the way. And I'm not sure what those do for you for finding them. But it's kind of like a thing to find them. Also, I'm just going to point out, I don't think I picked up any bullets. Nope. I did not do that. Alright, so it looks like there's a fence over here. Nothing in particular. I guess I'll head up because I can loop back around to my house and grab bullets at the very least. So anyway, how's everyone been doing? Chill series. Um, I'm not sure when you're going to get this video because I'm trying to catch up on some chill videos um but i start school for summer semester in a few days and uh, that's pretty exciting this this editing class that you've heard me talk about many times on the chill series is finally going to start um only 11 week semester so it's gonna be kind of accelerated but i think because i'm already familiar with premiere like i'm gonna try to like toss all my knowledge of premiere right and just sort of walk in blank. But because I'm familiar with the program, I know where buttons are. Um, I think the, pro the class would be pretty simple for me. It would be more about learning efficient ways to do things. Let's see if we can find some ammo. There's the ammo. Also have a few other classes this summer. I have uh, film style production, which is, uh, I think I'll be doing documentary in. Um, 
I'll, I'll see you once I get into class more. And also I have audio production. So if you thought, man, Grab Shiny sure is great, but their audio sure is shitty. One, been working on it. <laughs> it's, it's a little difficult because a lot of times we record with uh, one mic for two people. And uh, I'm loud as fuck. And Zach is not loud as fuck. Um, so it creates for an interesting challenge for audio balancing. But it's probably not as challenging as we're making it out to be. There's probably some uh, easier ways to go about it. Hopefully that'll make everything a lot smoother. Over the next couple months, hopefully you start seeing uh, some better productions. And at least if you don't see better productions, you'll see me on your videos a lot more or <laughs> watching your content if you're a content creator. Um, or maybe making, if you're not a content creator, you'll see me doing more uh, social media, some more chill um stuff because uh not the chill series but like not main videos per se because i'll have more time on my hands oh that's nice that's real nice yeah i do not want to be out in the woods when it's dark like this one it's just hard to see um two i'm scared what the fuck okay i'm gonna go up here on this tree he's around because his health bar showed up Oh, no. He got hit by one of my traps. Damn it. Oh, shit. That was one hell of a drop. I didn't realize that was going to hurt me like that. Okay, I need to turn back around. Okay, so hopefully, if all went well, he didn't hit one of my meat traps. He hit one of the other ones. Because if he hit one of the other ones, I can just pick the trap back up. But I can't set meat again, which is what is most helpful for drawing his attention. So without the meat, I really can't draw his attention. I just have to go hunt him down. Also, did he? He, he must have ate the meat because I see his health went back up. Or does it just regenerate? If it just regenerates, that's really f shitty because he's really annoying to catch. I'm trying to be chill, talk about my day, talk about my summer, but Bigfoot's a foot. Bigfoot is a foot, and uh, got to deal with that right now. the fuck was that maybe i saw a dead body i just didn't see it because it's pitch black outside that's gonna be my assumption maybe we saw a dead body maybe we didn't i think it tells us at the end so oh yeah we did okay it's on the map okay god damn it looks like you hit two of them oh i figured out how to use my flashlight wasn't that it was F? Of course it was. Um, I think I might go out and set up more cameras. Actually, I actually think this fence over here is a is a is a solid spot to uh, set our cam one of our cameras. We have four more. There we go. Okay, and I think that's a good spot because I kind of got a bunch of angles I can look from. No real no real reason to do that because I mean I'm not gonna put traps down there. It just give us a better. Way to kind of keep track of the foot. Now, daylight's happening, right? That's a thing. But that doesn't necessarily mean we're safe. I do understand Mr. Foot could still be loose in the world. Here's some shitty uh, bridge I shouldn't be walking across. No. Oh, okay. I thought that was death. Can I Skyrim my way down here? Can I fucking Mara win my way down here? Oh my god, I can. Oh, 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 took a little damage. That, that was like that one point in the slope where you fell wrong. Yeah. All right. That's fine. Uh, he hasn't went for any of my meat again. Speak of the devil. There's definitely a body here. There we go. Found one. So I thought... Bigfoot uh, hit one of my traps because he made that noise, but it didn't look like he took any health damage. Okay, this might be a good spot to set another camera. Just sort of be on the lookout for him. Also, I am a chronic map checker. All the chronic map, map checkers, what's up in the comments? If you check the map every five seconds like I do, then you're in good hands because that's what I do. Oh. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> this is not where I want to be. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to drop. 
camera here actually and I'm gonna pull out my gun just in case medicine okay he just keeps the heads like that's not weird like it's cool that there's medicine in here but the medicine doesn't exactly help me so I'll just go ahead and leave I am aware that he tends to be more up here towards these uh, pond areas to the north the swamp areas Oh, it's a campsite. Okay, nothing here. Wow. That tree just fucking fell. So now we're kind of near this uh, swampy area that I know is his, uh, like, his little domain almost. So I guess I'm going to go in the swamp and look for Bigfoot. Now, if I see Bigfoot, I just need to start shooting him also you can tell slower in the swamp puts me at a great disadvantage because really um, he'll kill me before I can kill him as you would expect of any Bigfoot but there's like a little shack out here I didn't even realize the controls were over there in the right corner for the health and flashlight till right now can I go in here can. I already have a rifle. Ooh, I would like that trap though. I don't need any more ammo. This is not a bad place. How close am I to home? I was going to say is it worth taking a mad dash, but like, I'm not actually safe anywhere, so there's no reason not to dash. Here we go. Here's, here's my traps and stuff. What do we got? Did he get the meat? Did he trigger any of these? Yeah, this one. No, he didn't even get it. Okay. So, he hasn't even been over here. Awesome. Put the meat on it. And then we'll trap it. God damn it. Another one? Okay. So, camera one's on my traps. He's nowhere to be seen. Camera 2 is behind my camper. Not seeing any Bigfoot. Camera 3 is in front of my camper. No Bigfoot. Camera 4 is a long way away. It's by the fence. No Bigfoot. <clears throat> camera 5. Um, somewhere else. No Bigfoot. 6. It's by this ominous cave. Not seeing a Bigfoot. Okay. What's actually interesting about this is I can close myself in in case Bigfoot gets here. Um, and then if Bigfoot hops in the truck and just drives away, I guess I'm just screwed. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Bigfoot. Bigfoot. We got a Bigfoot. Wait. Am I not? What, what the fuck? Oh, I wasn't loaded. Damn it. Well, that was Bigfoot. Um, we saw him. He was probably coming for my traps, but then saw me and just decided to kill the shit out of me. Is he going to come back? Which way is that? Over by the fence? You know what? It's worth checking to see if he's over there. Camera four. You see Bigfoot? Nope. Camera five. Any action? You would have to really book it to be on camera five. Camera six, always going to be ominous. I don't see him on camera four, so he didn't run all that way. So maybe he went more south. That can be my only guess. Oh shit! Fuck! Oh no! Bigfoot! Oh man! Well, look guys. I'm not good at catching Bigfoot. But at least we got to chill in the woods a little bit together, set up some cameras, set up some traps for no reason at all, and accomplish nothing. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. But this has been the Chill Series, Finding Bigfoot. It was alright. Um, 
It's on Steam if you want to check it out. There might be a link in the description. Might not. Just kind of depends how lazy I got. But for now, be sure to grab Shiny in your day. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.